All right, hi there. Um, this is a video of how to create a ranged weapon. I'm using uh, Unity 4.3.3, the free version. I've also downloaded uh, the latest version of UFPS. You can see the date here on it. And I have also pulled down this uh, AK-47. It's a free model. Uh, and I've got it loaded. So currently I have that in my weapons folder. And the first thing I did for this is I changed the size to 0 0.0075. It, the sizing looks a lot better. And so I've created that. And if you've watched the uh, melee weapon video, uh, the, it's a similar, similar setup as that. So to start off, we are in the uh, clean scene level, and so I have, I'm going to duplicate the revolver. So if you look under UFPS, base, content, prefabs, weapons, I duplicated this and I renamed it to AK-47 so just control D and I just gave it a different name so we'll just leave it as um, so I've got that in my scene and then I took the AK-47 and I dragged that into the scene uh, rotate it negative 90 and then you just kind of position it over top of where the revolver is. So, I mean, this is not perfect, but, and the finger sticks through the thumb, but it actually looks, I mean, I don't think anybody will notice when you're playing. I think that this, that's out of scene. So once you get it lined up, add it to your prefab. Now you go and you select the mesh under um, the prefab. This will be labeled, you know, AK-47. <coughs> so if you click on the mesh, look at the mesh renderer, change this to 1, and this is the reason I use this, because it has arm as first and then a handgun. So if you go to 1 and hit enter, the handgun disappears. So you're going to want to apply your changes and after you apply it, um, you're going to delete it from your scene. Uh, next step I did was I took the advanced player. Uh, this is under base content prefabs players. I duplicated the advanced player and I just named it tutorial. And then I dragged it in the scene. So the first thing I did with this guy, you expand it out, I take the machine gun, duplicated it, and I gave it a new name. I called it 5AK47. Um, you always want to put the number in front of it, so you see one pistol. So if you hit the number one, it goes to pistol. So here, since I already have four, I named this 5AK47. Um, I duplicated the machine gun because I want all the same action. That, that comes from the machine gun. So, uh, after I do that, you come over here and you select the parent. You're going to scroll down to this uh, VP simple weapon, uh, simple inventory. Change the weapon size to 5. It's going to, it'll probably duplicate this 4 mace. So you're going to name it just type the name in. This is text, so 5AK47. Um, I expanded the machine gun because I want it set up the same. So you've got one for have, can't have, turn it on. You can copy this and paste it here. That way it'll use the same ammo clip. Um, zero and then 50 for max. Next thing I do is I come over and select my 5AK47, click on the rendering, 
single click this and it'll take you to your weapons folder and then just drag in your AK-47 that's the arm that you just did so um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the settings before I show you why I did them so the first one I left the X alone it's the same as the uh, machine gun so I changed the Y to negative 0 0.37 and then uh, for zooming I expanded out this states and yours is going to look like this so it'll say weapon machine gun if you single click this it's going to take you to where it is I duplicated this machine gun and I named it AK-47 and then if you double click this and open it the only thing I changed here the only thing I changed here is this position offset so it's 0, negative 0 0.37, 0 0.15 originally it looked like this, I just changed that to 37 uh, save and close that and then from here you're going to make sure you drag this preset onto here so all of these presets are actually saved under this under the scripts so UFPS base scripts presets and then standard weapon so you would drag that right on top of that state. Uh, when you're done, apply your changes, save it, save your scene, and you're pretty much done. So I'm going to show you real quick why I got the settings that I did, or how I got the settings. So if you hit play, um, so I'm going to show you the machine gun. So if you look at the machine gun, see it's like that, and then you right click and you zoom in. So I kind of want the similar setup. So if I go to my machine gun, uh, the AK-47, I am going to click over here on the transform. So when I, I look at these position springs, I mess with the Y, you'll see it goes up or down. It started out like there. So I, I changed it to 0.37. It just it looked right to me. And then I wrote that down because I knew that I didn't change anything else, so I just wrote the Y down. And then if you come down here to your states and you just single click on this one that says zoom, it's gonna show you the zoom. Um, I had to change this uh, so it's zero and then I moved this to where I wanted it and what I did was I just kinda duplicated what the machine gun had so if you click in your click in your scene and switch back to your machine gun you can actually look at the machine gun and if you click on the zoom state, it shows you what all these settings are. Um, we don't really have to worry about any of the settings except for whatever we change. So since I only changed the Y, that's all I changed here. I changed the Y. I didn't change any of these other ones. Um, the manual has a ton of information on how to change these, what the changes do. You can play with it you know you might not like how much it's moving all that kind of stuff so uh, the other thing that you may want to do is you might possibly want to change the damage or um, so what I would do is you okay kinda went kinda fast so let's see if you just stop playing click on your AK-47 um, scroll down to this weapon shooter script 
you'll see it uses the prefab of machine gun bullet. Just single click that. It'll show you where it is. If you're going to make changes, I would duplicate this and call it like for instance you would call it AK-47 bullet. Okay, 47. So then over here, you're going to replace that with your AK-47. All the settings are still the same. But what you can do is you can come on to the, you can edit this so maybe your AK-47 has a higher damage. So you could change that to 2 or something. Um, your range, maybe your range is longer, your force is longer. Any of these, this is where you would change the actual damage which is you know different than a melee weapon so there you go um, I hope that helps some people thanks bye